Good afternoon. <laughs> What's going on next door? <laughs> I didn't think she would let me do this. <laughs> Eve. <laughs> Eve, you okay? Okay, so, but honesty hour. We're not going out tonight. We are staying home. We need a restful night. And we're gonna watch some Harry Potter. Actually, I'm gonna do a lot of productive things. Like, well, I don't know about a lot, but at least one major thing. Well, this dog might be sick. She has one eye that's kind of uh, like <laughs> droopy, like almost like it's, it's not swollen, but almost is acting like it's swollen. And then it also, she also has this mark near her rear end that we can't tell if it's a scab, like she may have itched or bitten or hit it on something that is scabbing, or it might be a tick. So we're gonna play it by ear and like just watch her motions for the next 12 hours, 24 yeah. hours. We're not saying Sarah's gonna take her to the vet tomorrow morning, but if she starts acting weird and it's like obvious that it's a tick or that something's wrong with her eye, Sarah's gonna take her in tomorrow morning. Um, but if not, we'll just play it by ear. So we kind of are staying home because of the pup. Um, but I think we needed it to stay home, but also, you, you say it. We're getting pizza hut? <laughs> oh, we're getting pizza hut. That's not what I was saying, though. Oh, what? Um, okay, so listen now. We are moving some of our stuff from the second bedroom out because we have to make space because we are getting a roommate named Matthew Robert Carl. He's moving in with us. Yes, and Ben, I don't know his middle name, Alan. So, I'm thinking, I'm showing. So you've seen this desk before, and this is where we edit the vlogs. This is where Sarah does all of her work. This desk is actually going to go right here. So I'm hoping I'm nervous about the height because I feel like we checked that when we moved in, but it's gonna go in this corner here. This will be the new like desk area. We're gonna figure out how to how we want this to look because these sides actually break down. We're gonna see how we how we want this table to look if it's gonna stay here or not or how in what capacity. But that's where that's gonna go. That's like the biggest item in that room. We've got a small side table and a small bookshelf. I don't know if we're gonna bring those out here or if we're going to. Um, let them use them, or what? But this is gonna be like you've seen the, the you've seen our office before. Like so, desk. And here's a bathroom. My sister drew that for Christmas because she's the best. And over here's a big closet. So that closet has been used for storage for us of all of our holiday stuff, a lot of our old high school stuff, a lot of like all, just all the stuff we've been collecting for ten years. So we're gonna go through and see what of that we could do without. But I know we're gonna end up keeping a lot of that, especially the holiday stuff, because. You know how much we love the holidays. But I think the biggest hurdle, I think it's gonna be a long process. Matt's not moving until the end of August. And then Ben is like TBD. He's gotta figure out um, how to sublet his his apartment that he's in now. This puppy, she's tired. She's ready for a nap. Um, I'm sure she, when she realizes that we're not leaving that she will take a nap. But before I go get dinner, uh, we gotta get in comfy clothes. to go get dinner but I want to show you why this is gonna be such a process but it's an amazing thing so this desk Sarah's uncle actually made for her for I think high school graduation there's a date on the underside that will show you but I need to go in I need to take all of the stuff out of these drawers and these shelves here but since she's an artist and her uncle made this you can see this is all one piece here but it stops here I have to take all that off like that comes off and these are actually three different pieces that are screwed together but this is the coolest part because she's an artist. That's actually like an easel. You can pop that up to different different lengths there so it can be super high up. And then you would just pop the locks. So there you go. There's an easel, there's drawers, shelves. I gotta empty it all, detach it, and move it to the other room and refill it back up. So you might be able to hear our washer going, it's a little bit squeaky. Um, but I'm going to fold some laundry. Those were from your hat. 
When you move desks, do you find weird stuff <laughs> in the drawers, like a bag of orange leaves? No, they're feathers. <laughs> um, so he's getting all the stuff from the desk out here. And we're watching Harry Potter. It's our go-to like background movie. Go-to background movie, but especially during the holidays. Especially during the holidays. Have you ever seen this one? But I want to show you, I got it all disassembled and over here to, to show you like the three sections I told you about. Here's the section with the drawers, which has the little mark from Sarah's uncle. Custom made for Sarah Ryan. April 23rd, 2011. Love, Uncle Rooster Frank. So Sarah's uncle, Uncle Frank is a really big handyman. He knows how to make like anything out of it, any kind of wood or material. And Sarah used to wear a ponytail, just like sticking straight up. And they used to call it a rooster tail. She's asleep. I think it was a rooster tail. And Uncle Frank used to always say that to her and she would get super shy and rip it out. So there's the, the left section. Then right here is where the chair goes. That's what this is, but it's upside down. There's a support leg there, so I have to flip that, put it there, and then drill it in to these side anchors on both of these. And here's the, this doesn't come apart because this is the easel. And over here, there's that top piece. So that's the whole, like, here's the corner where the computer screen will go, the left side, which is going to go over this. And it's, we're going to make it meet flush and level, hopefully, with this so it's smooth. So now I get to flip that over there. Hold it with one hand while screw it in with the other, and hopefully my pup doesn't freak out too much. And then I have to do, as you can see, like the sawdust, do the standard like go through and clean out some of the junk, see what we can throw away, give everything. You, you always need to give everything a good wipe down with a wet, soapy, hot water rag when you're doing moves like these because you gotta feel fresh when you're doing those kind of moves. So that is that's the next step. That was far more intense than it probably looked if that was used in fast, uh, like, time lapse. But, but you have to keep this same, same height, so there's not much of a lip, but you still need a little bit of a space so this can lift up and down. Now I gotta put the screws back in there, and in here some more. I have to fix that support back there because it came off. And then put the drawers back, and then set up all the computer stuff and make it look fancy and good. I had to resort to putting my hat on because I'm all sweaty and my hair got crazy. But here's what it looks like. I still have to go through, like all the wiring is all set up. I have to talk to Sarah about like how, because like we had the pins, the buttons here, but I don't think we're going to put the buttons there because it'll block the window. I think it looks nice with this like, this right here, I think it looks good. I think it goes well. Um, doesn't look too out of place. That took up more time than I thought. It's already 9.40. Harry Potter Gobble Fire is almost over, so I'll probably pop on another one. And uh, I don't know what else is going to go on tonight. Like, this isn't the most uh, luxurious vlog, but, you know, we got to get this stuff done because we only have a few weeks, plus we have a busy few weeks because the family's coming in. Jenna and Bill come next week, and the rest of the family comes the following week. So we got busy stuff to do, so um, I got to find something else to do. Look at that setup behind me with that desk and those monitors in my living room. Do you that? That's my washer. And it is past 12. I've just been like a busy bee. I folded three loads of laundry. There's another load in the dryer right now. Threw some dishes in the dishwasher. And uh, I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I realize that there's like not much content to this vlog, but I think sometimes we just need to catch up. We did keep talking about how we're like gonna go through and like repurge all the like unnecessary things or clutter that we've collected over the years. And I feel like one of those things I feel like it's really loud. All right, I'm actually sitting where that desk used to be, but I feel like the lighting is a little bit better from this angle, and you don't hear that washing machine. So what I'm saying is, um, with one of the things, like I'm looking at what we need to go through to like declutter our stuff, and there's just like certain categories of, of things you own that like fill the space that you occupy. And with Matt and Ben moving in, like Sarah and I have been collecting things for years, We've been putting stuff in storage, then we moved out and got our own place, and we got to put the stuff out, but then we still had stuff in storage because we needed more space, and when we moved down to Florida, we got a two-bedroom, two-bath apartment, and we've 
filled all the rooms, including storage of the closets. And it's one of those things where it's like, you just fill the space that you have. So if you have space in this day and age, like you'll fill that space. And that's what I think Sarah and I are trying to get away from is like, just cause we have space doesn't mean we need to fill it. Um, and that's part of the reason why like we're pumped about having Matt and Ben move in is because it's going to give us a financial ability to potentially buy a house next year and it's going to help them get financially stable for them to, to start their life down here in Florida together. But I digress. One of the things I think everybody ends up having way too many things of are DVDs. And I think we're going to get rid of most of ours, except there's some ones that that we gotta go over that we are not getting rid of. One of them, and this is a Sarah. I'm gonna go over Sarah's, mine, family, and then a cool tradition that like I, I've, I've done with Sarah's mom for years now, but this is Sarah's right here, Chicago. The Blu-ray DVD combo. Sarah's obsessed with that movie. It's probably one of her top five favorites. We're not getting rid of that. Another one, Meet Me in St. Louis. This is uh, the next two are mine, but like they're both mine and Sarah's, but I think we've mentioned it before. I'm obsessed, obsessed with Mamma Mia. Super pumped to see Mamma Mia 2. Here's a cult classic. It's both Sarah and I love it. I don't think either of us have seen the sequel, but part of me is just like, I, can't, I don't want to mess with the original. My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which was filmed in Chicago. Here's a family classic, and that's going to be Forrest Gump. That movie makes me both extremely happy and extremely sad, all at the same time. Now here's a movie that I don't think I really appreciated until I started dating Sarah and started watching movies with her, and that's going to be Singing in the Rain. Gene Kelly, uh, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds, and I love Debbie Reynolds. Um, Singing in the Rain is just a classic. I mean, I miss the old streets of America at Hollywood Studios where they have the umbrella. And we did Sing in the Rain in high school, and Sarah and I, Sarah was part of the ensemble and crew, and I was just part of the stage crew, so I was a stage hand, helped build the stage, the stages, and then I was actually the audio tech for four years, and I was in charge of audio for two and a half years, or three years, two years of high school. I was in charge of all the audio stuff, so the, the mixing and the equipment and everything on there. So what Sarah, this is, it's funny because like Sarah loves movies and she loves old movies, but um, just something about like old black and white movies is something that Sarah, Sarah's mom and I have like connected with over the years. But these are all some of my favorites. I'm going the first one because it's the one that Sarah has seen because this is like another family classic. Grandma Cookie loves this. Everybody in our family loves this. That's going to be Boys Town. The next two are literally two of my probably top five favorite movies of all time. And I don't even know if there's a Disney movie in it, my top five. I'm just talking top five movies, like any kind of genre. But that's gonna be The Keys of the Kingdom. And this one is probably top three, one of my top three favorite movies. That's gonna be Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. If you have not seen this, please. It's probably on YouTube for free. Those are some of our classics. Those are DVDs that are going to be staying. But it's hard to... I understand why DVDs become, like, a thing. Because, look, I just went over that and there's already this much space. Um, I'm all about the digital copies. Like, I'm not a purist where I need to have this DVD. If I could get all those on digital copy, I would chuck all those DVDs. That'd be fine with me. Just for fun. Also, if, you're, if you know your top three movies of all time, put them down below. I'm going to go... Mr. Smith Goes to Washington is my number three. About Time is my number two. And that's like a 2014 or 15 movie. And then It's a Wonderful Life is my number one. So, I think I'm going to go to bed. I, I apologize if this vlog was not super entertaining. But we daily vlog. So sometimes that means you're going to get to see us move a desk out of the corner of a room. Because one of your best friends is moving in. Sometimes you're gonna see us do laundry because we went on a week vacation and then went to the Toy Story Land afterwards and didn't go to the grocery store and do laundry when we should have still had that before we went back to work. And sometimes you're just gonna hear one of the longest Peter Rambles recorded in all of YouTube history. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.